What's up YouTube? This is Freaks Ritual. About to show you another flashlight called the Soul Fern SP32A. It is a badass, low budget light. So everyone could afford it. Alright, this is the box. Pretty standard. There's their slogan. I think that's German, but I'm trying to make this quick because I'm recording in 4K, so they only give me a certain amount of time on my phone. Alright, this is where they ship to and all that. Their website, fax number, telephone number, all that. So, that's that. So, let's see what's inside. Got your user manual. Got your coupon telling you how to save. Please contact if there are any issues. We'll do replacement. That's very good. You have your silica gel as garbage. You have your charger for your 18650 and a micro USB charging cable. I always recommend getting a smart charger. I'm not sure if this is a smart charger. You also have two O-rings and a lanyard. lanyard. Alright, let's try to enjoy the flashlight. Oop. There we go. Let's move that to the side. Actually, let's look at the user remainder real quick. So I think it's an XPL. XPL 2B6. It has two mode settings. Ramping and just single clicks. Alright, turbos. 1,550. Highs 900 lumens for one hour. Turbo is only 34 minutes, but right, medium is 1.6 lumens for 5 hours 37 minutes. Low is 43 lumens for 20 hours 55 minutes. And moonlight is 4 lumens for 200 hours. It's pretty good. Alright, this beam distance 200 meters, beam intensities. 11,400 candela, impact resistance 1 meter, and model resistance 2 meters. You have, I'm only reading this in case you guys can't see it in the video. So there you go. Smooth reflector, of course, and four fast clicks to lockout mode. So that's cool. Alright, let's check the light out. How it looks, standard clip on a lot of flashlights. Be cool for his black. The button is risen so you can see it, or well, not see it, but feel it better at night. It has an AR coding. I'll look at my fingerprints. Smooth reflector, I already said that. It does tear stand solid, so that's good. So everything, there's no tear clicky, so it just functions with the switch. Oh, that's so when they ship it, it doesn't accidentally turn on. There's the spring. Does come lubed. It's a ooh, different battery. The other, how the company wrapped them before, I like this one better. 3000 milliamp hours. It's a quality battery. It's usually a crappy battery, it's very light, but this is heavy. All right. Oh, jump. That looks quality right there. 
Remember guys, it's a low budget light. It looks like they did a spring bypass. That's how they get to that 1,550 lumens. So that's cool. All right. Let's see the user interface. I right, remember, guys, it has two modes. You got ramping and then single process. Let me see if this is, no, this is ramping. So, bam, you could have any lumen you want and just leave it. And it has mode memory on that. So that's cool. So once you get all the way to the high, well it's not the highest, but it'll bring you up to the high mode, 900 lumens. To get to your 1550, you double tap. That's it. And then lower, it blinks to get to your lowest mode, that's moonlight. Nine hundred double tap. You get to your. Oops. Yeah, you get to your highs. Three taps. You get to your strobe. All right. So. Let's turn that on. Oh. Let's see what happens. Holding it, you should get. You hold it for a little long. I should, yep, when it blinks like that, you're in your next mode, or mode groups. So now it's just taps. From low, medium to high, and then double tap to your turbo. So now, three taps, strobe. All right, let's see if, um, oh, so when you're in a, um, th these taps to turn it off, you have to hold it to turn it off. When it's in ramping, you just single tap to turn it off. It's like opposite. You get the hang of it. All right, so now let's see how the lockout is. Now it's in lockout. So every time you click it, it blinks. It doesn't stay on. So that's cool. Let's see what happens. I always think, let me see if I hold it or turn back on. Uh, yeah. So now, no, maybe you got to hit it four times to get it. One, two, three, four. That's weird. So, I, I should take lockout mode off now. What the hell? Okay, four, four clicks would take you off lockout so that's cool but how I like it it's when you switch the just to be safe just turn it the opposite way so you don't turn it on just to be safe all right so since we went through all that let's go take this bad boy outside guys um Driving to a very dark location because as you can see all these lights, I want to go to a pitch back, ah, pitch black location, or it's just plain as night. So we'll see you guys in a few. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna turn this off. I'll see you at my location. For the Sofern SP32A, I gotta say that because 
so I can remember what what light it is. All right. All right, guys. I'm here at my location. About to do the beam footage of the Sofern SP32A. So look at this. All black. All darkness. Got a flashlight. Alright guys, let me park. I'm about to do this beam footage. I'll be right back. Alright guys. Next to my vehicle. Can't go too far. Not in this location. Alright, about to turn on the so for an SP32A right now it's moonlight mode so uh, low could see pretty good with low sorry I heard something Alright, change it up. This is medium. Push it up to high. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is really nice. All right, I'm gonna double tap the turbo. Wow, just in 900 lumens is good. Just so you guys know, this is a neutral tint. It's not a. I think it's like 57,000 K. So, all right, I'm going back to low. I don't like that because I need to see where I'm at. Alright, I'm going to change the UI to ramping. Alright, now I'm in ramping. It does get a little warm, but what light doesn't? Alright, I'm in. I ramped it to moonlight. You can't even see, that's how low it is. All right, I'm going to bring it back up. That's 900. Let's walk around. Oh, you can see everything. I'm going to put in turbo. Looks real good. Just so you guys know, I'm going to put a link in the description to where you could purchase this light. I'm telling you, it's cheap. It's very good for the price. It's high quality, very bright. I'd recommend this to anyone that don't have money to waste if you want to save you buy this all right all right this concludes the review of my Sofern light glad I got it so far it's a good light all right let's walk around here real quick before I take off this place is a little spooky so I don't want no one jumping in my car and leaving 
I'm gonna bring it back to turbo. See what strobe looks like. All right, guys, this gonna take off now. Thank you for watching. Peace.